motivate you as a lot of you guys stuck around and stayed here and you know determined to kind of turn it around? Uh, I feel like last year towards the end we knew we were going to have a completely different team coming in next year just based off certain guys situation yeah. so me personally my mindset was just to put last year behind us new year new us I just focus on what's, what's to come ahead. Have you talked about Hunter at all recently? Uh, I mean if I see him we talk you know there's no hard feelings you know I respect him. Uh, at the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you, so I salute her for that. That's still my boy. You were talking about the reads, um, but also how have you grown in your game of, like, you're a second-year point guard out, knowing when, hey, this guy's hot, I got to get him the ball, or, you know, this worked earlier in the game, let's come back to that. Do you feel like you have a better, you know, read on, on that as well? Yeah, I feel like I definitely have a better sense of that. You know, I, I watch film a lot, you know. I sit, I sit in the store away from my food and open up some film. Like, I love watching film a lot, so... You know, just getting familiar again, those reads to become natural, second nature, has been very a focus to me. And, and you know, if you guys tell you, I feel like I've been doing a very good job with that. Olivier said you and him have a good connection on the ball screen. What's that been like? Uh, we do, actually. And I feel like a lot, a lot of that comes from off the court. We hang out with each other every day. I was just I was just at his house last night. Uh, you know, we see each other every day, just talking and just getting to know each other. And, you know, when we talk about basketball, he explains where he likes the ball, like where he's most effective. And I explain, like, you know, I'm going to find you in those spots. And just that off-court camaraderie definitely feeds into the on-court. And our chemistry is pretty natural to me. Who's playing the two mostly right uh, now? Lamar, he's mostly playing the two. What does, he, what does he kind of bring there? He's bringing a spark. Uh, he's actually an excellent shooter. You know, I didn't know he could shoot the ball that well. He's, he's, very, he's been working on his jump shot in the offseason. He's an excellent, excellent shooter. Playmaking too? Yeah, he's a great playmaker. You know, me and him switch off the ball often. You know, he get reps at the one in practice, so he's familiar with the point guard position. But you know, he's a great ball handler, excellent defender, and a very much improved shooter for sure. What was your offseason like getting ready for another year of sophomore game? Uh, I've been grinding all season, you know. A lot of guys went home, but you know, I stayed, make sure I get my body right, get in the weight room. Uh, gained 15 pounds over the offseason. So my jump shot, my range has improved uh, a lot. And you know, I've just been grinding, you know, just ready for a breakout season for sure. Yeah, you get a smile on your face. I mean, you got a, a huge opportunity here to be the leader and, and the shots. I mean, you feel like you can shoulder that load? Uh, for sure. I feel like, you know, uh, I live for tasks every day, you know, hard. The hard tasks, you know, I get excited for those because I've been through, I've been dealing with adversity my whole life. So just taking on another hard task is fun to me, and I, I enjoy it. What did you take from your freshman year? The first game he was against Minnesota. And you look like you're ready to go pro. But, you know, then there's going to be some ups and downs. What did you take from your freshman year? Uh, just knowing that the ups and downs are going to happen. You know, every game is not going to be perfect. Can't, can't get too down on myself. Uh, we got 30 plus games to play. I can't get mad at game 15. We have 15 more. So just make sure I always keep that next game mentality. You know, I'm the leader of the team, so guys are going to be looking at me. When lose a draw, I got to keep my head high and keep my guys encouraged. What are you trying to do as a point guard? Get everybody involved early on and then, and then take yours when needed? Or do you know that you're going to have to score a little bit more this year? Uh, you know, I'm a passionate point guard, so of course I'm looking to get everybody involved. But, you know, it's whatever coaches feel. If coaches feel like this. So Olivier's day, I'm, my main goal is to get Olivier the ball. You know, if he calls some ball screen plays for me, then, you know, I'm going to make something happen. But it's really on the vibe of the game. You know, I'm, I don't force any shot. You know, I don't care about scoring 20. You know, I have zero points and 20 assists. I'd be the happiest dude in the locker room. So as long as we get the win, that's, that's the most important thing to me. What about the three-point shot? I mean, you're more just increasing your range, footwork, some of the step-back stuff that we see, side-to-side, side, all of that. Yeah. What, what's your... Give us your repertoire. Uh, last year, you know, I had a tendency to shoot a lot of long twos. The manager used to, you know, get on with me about that. So this year, I'm just 
making sure, you know, I'm not even close to the line. My range has increased a lot. And, you know, just, you know, coming off bar screens, two or three, just making it more natural for me. Uh, step back beats, stuff like that. So just making them the threes and more natural movements. So what kind of opportunity does this team have? You guys feel like you're a little underdog or unknown and overall when you're coming into this season? I definitely feel like we're the underdog and we all embrace that role. You know, it's, it's hard to doubt the underdogs because, you know, we won't come in and shock the world. So, you know, I'm excited. What's it like without uh, a coach? You, know, you guys still have to stay together and, you know, get this going before he comes back. Uh, it's very different, but I feel like the energy, guys pick it up even more because they knew, like, if Coach was here, we shouldn't, if Coach, if Coach not here, we shouldn't act a, a certain way when he's not here. So we just treat him as he's here every day. You know, we have him in our heart every time we walk into practice, and he's going to come back and be proud of what he's coming back to. Doug, what's your relationship like with uh, the, the Maze Rage and the, the crowd overall? I know you're, you know, you had a little social media stuff going on last year where you're, like your feelings show, but where, where are you at with that? What's it like? Uh, you know, I love those guys. You know, I see them around. I talk to them, and they give me their input, and I give them my input on what they can do better. They ask for advice as well. So, them cool group of guys, and you know, they're gonna be they're gonna be lit this year because we're gonna shock the world for sure. What advice overall do you have to Michigan basketball fans that are coming down and seeing this year? Uh, just be ready. You know, uh, a lot of guys are going to dwell off last season and have last season in their minds, but this, this a whole new season. And we got a whole new team, whole new goals, so just be ready. Thank you, Doug. Doug, hey, good to see you.